Pick it up. Time for your morning bath, my lord. Well, this rate, I don't think he's going to last much longer. <laughs> Come on now, just a few more steps. Yeah, not so hard, was it? Here we go again. You about ready? These things take time. Put him back here. Do this all. Why, oh, you little shit!
Hands up. All right, mate. Not a word. Inside. Close them. Let's just talk this through, shall we? You're him, aren't you? The convict everyone's talking about. There's only one way out of here. Walking dead, that's what you are. Gonna wish you never left those catacombs. Such a mouth. Fair enough. Fair enough, it's your funeral, not mine. Move. Stay <coughs> That's why our orders shoot on sight. He has a gun! He has a gun! Whoa, fellas, what? Give yourself up, monsieur. My next shot will not be a warning. Surrender yourself! Raise your hands, now! Raise your hands! Hands up! Gray! Don't do this! I said surrender! Hands on your head! You have betrayed our order! No one may escape the penalty! You forget, Lord Chancellor. I'm as good as dead already. Galahad! Galahad, come in. Galahad, acknowledge this is command. I read you, Percival. Enjoying a stroll in the park, are we? Nothing quite like a chilly London morning to stimulate the senses. Not to interrupt your little constitutional, but we have confirmation of multiple marks at Grosvenor Square. What are our directives? 
Rendezvous at the United India House with the Grain and Lafayette and contain the threat. Do you have it in sight? Right in front of me. Good. Assess the situation once there and proceed with caution. Did Nicola provide you with armament? Yes. Essex M2 Falchion. Good. The Falchion's secondary ordnance should help. We may be pursuing Bedlamites, but they remain civilians. Use non-lethal force whenever possible. Understood. Are you joining us? I have a small matter to attend to. I'll find you afterwards. En route now. Got that out. Negative. Same here. He's probably off somewhere gallivanting. Being, well, himself. I know your concerns, but trust me, he's a good lad. If you say so. In any case, I have no time to look for him. I'm assigning the last few constables to their posts. Galahad, see that you cordon off the entire district and do it quietly. How did you arrive here so quickly? Skill, love. I must admit, you do move fast for a man of your age. I'm not cares to be reminded of his decrepitude by a fair damsel. My lord, this damsel would never be so callous as to do such a thing. Sure is he. Would you ever? <laughs> <laughs> Who are the marks? Bedlamites, running amok. Percival thinks it could be a rebel subterfuge. Let's hope you haven't lost your edge. Remember who trained you? He was the best. In his day. Was. You're still pretty good. But I'm better. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Grain, come in. Acknowledge, Percival. Multiple escapees spotted at the east entrance of the United India Underground Station. Intercept with caution. Understood. Come on, Grey. Let's move. Once we're inside, don't let anyone else through. Sure you don't need help, love? Do you mean a strong man to take control of things? That's right. Just stay out of our way. I'd hate for you to get shot by mistake. Trouble? The usual trigger-happy mercenaries. The United India Company prefers its minions enthusiastic. The last thing we need is a band of hired guns causing more havoc. I've told them to remain on lockdown. Galahad, take cover! Let's get to work. Reload. We're clear. Move up. Oh. Get out of here. Find some weapons. You two, get your asses over here. I need help. Come on. Go. Let's go, you bloody bastards! A rifle would be more appropriate. Shit. Mikey, he's a sick! They've locked the door. I can hear more commotion inside. Hurry. More bedlamites inside. Stun! Take the shot! Izzy! Are you alright? 
Slaughtering them. Ready? Just get rid of the scum. Smoke grenades. Right. Me. Shit. Fuck you, God! Smoke out! We should clear the second floor. Everything to your liking thus far? Quite. Just another ordinary London morning. Indeed. Although I do hope that was only the beginning. first. Quiet. You think we'll get to shoot a few of them rich folk? Huh? Say no more. You too. Sir. Downstairs. There are civilians who need your assistance. Yes, sir. Sir, General Raphael is in the next room. <sighs> You're joking. Is there a single woman in this city he won't try to seduce? Well, he's your problem now. Do try not to lag behind. Lafayette. Ah, monsieur. Uh, this lady requires my attention. Marquis. Your attention is required elsewhere. I assure you, mademoiselle, that only the vow of fidelity prevents me from accepting your invitation. Oh, Marquis, you mustn't leave now. Unfortunately, my lady, my duty compels me elsewhere. Most fetching, was she not? I hadn't noticed. That is because you are not a Frenchman. You are the most American Frenchman I have ever known. I am a lover of liberty, mon ami. A proper knight must learn to curb his passions. Without passion, monsieur. A man cannot fight. We do not fight men, Marquis. Men, half-breeds, what does it matter? Vive la liberté! Let's go. It's about time. Marquis, you and Lady Green take that entrance. I'll go through this one and sweep for any remaining escapees. We oui, miss you. 
but uh Gallahan, are you making any headway? I'm in the generator room. Lafayette and I have decided to split our search. Women with it, but I have not met any resistance yet. I had a feeling I'd beat you here. Remember, youth always prevails. I slew most of them. The last one got away. Be great, I need your arm gun. I'll head up to street level and keep after him. You two go that way and head him off. Understood. Yes. Percival, we've neutralized the threat on our side. Good. I managed to capture one of the half-breeds. Rendezvous back at Regent. Acknowledge. Let's go. Westminster to the catacombs. We'll deal with him later. Ah, Sir Percival. I thought the Order of Her Majesty's Royal Knights might be mixed up in this affray. We had reason to suspect a rebel incursion, Commissioner. An elementary conjecture. In that event, perhaps this might be of interest. Why, Chapel? Uh, purely circumstantial, of course. I call it evidence. Well, circumstantial evidence can be a tricky animal, my dear Sir Percival. You may think it is pointing at one thing, but shift your point of view slightly and you may find it pointing in an equally uncompromising manner at something entirely different. Please, indulge me with your musings, Commissioner. Well, first the rebellion, and then this Jack and the Ripper murders, mm -hmm. and then this. Strange, don't you think, that Whitechapel has become the epicenter of our recent conundrums? We must examine every clue now, you see? We meet in council two days hence. If you would do us the honor of presenting your findings. You can expect me at Westminster. Over here, sir. Do excuse me. Where have you been? 
Bloody London traffic. Mon général, one of the other half-breeds that escaped through Hyde Park. We must pursue them. No. Mais notre devoir est de les poursuivre, monsieur. Marquis, nous ne chassons pas des Anglais sur les nouveaux continents. Votre temérité sera requis à un moment opportun. Oui, mon général. I will be governed by your advice. I'm sure you will appreciate that for the time being, this must remain a police matter. Of course. Something's amiss. The underworld in Whitechapel is known to give safe harbor to the rebellion. That's precisely what troubles me. Why would so many half-breeds be found in Bedlam? Some things we need to find out for ourselves. You heard, Commissioner Doyle. It's a police investigation now. Knights do not relinquish their authority to bureaucrats. Percival is right. This matter should be brought before the Council. Centuries have passed. But our order has remained steadfast in its sacred mission to preserve the balance between man and half-breed. Such was the quest of our founder, King Arthur. May his name be forever resplendent. Is it true? Did the Lord Chancellor fight by Arthur's side? That is the legend. Today, that balance is threatened with grave upset by a new contagion, the rebellion. As long as its campaign of anarchy and terror is allowed to continue, the plague of lichen infestation that has infected our city will only grow more intolerable. Well, the Lord Chancellor will thus agree to the urgency of a mission into Whitechapel. Whitechapel is a matter for the civil authorities. When the noble Arthur sought to contest for truage with the Roman Emperor Lucius, he did not trouble himself with issues of jurisdiction. Do not presume to quote history to me, Sir Percival. <laughs> I've seen more of history than you shall ever know. I remind the knights here assembled that the threat to this order comes not only from without, but within. We must stand vigilant together lest our ranks be poisoned by those who seek the destruction of all we hold sacred. No one is immune from the rebel's influence. Surely the Lord Chancellor does not mean to question Sir Percival's loyalty. This order has long appreciated Sir Percival's counsel, but the current disruption calls for caution and concerted effort, not rash action. Sir Percival has cause, Lord Chancellor. The situation in Whitechapel may need to be addressed. Does Lord Darwin speak with the blessing of the peers? Lord Hastings, Lord Dunglass. He does, Lord Chancellor. Perhaps the question should be put to the Council. Very well. What says the order of Her Majesty's royal knights in the matter of Whitechapel? Aye or nay? Nay! The nays have it. This council is dismissed. Our order grows too prudent, Grayson. We wither away from this inaction. Leave it, Sebastian. Caution be damned. Sir Percival is most agitated. You should learn it is best not to cross him when his mind is set on something. Galahad will deal with this in due time. I have a more pressing matter to attend. As you wish. How many of us will make the journey to America? Oh, Lord Barrett, Lord Darwin, and myself. I've heard many great things about the Agamemnon, Lord Hastings. Oh, she is the finest the United India Company has ever built. I can promise you a pleasant and speedy journey across the Atlantic. Can we expect your presence at the launch, Sir Lucan? It would be my honor to see you off on your maiden voyage, my lords. Sir Lucan, if I may? Um, if you'd permit me, my lords. Of course, Sir Percival. Alistair, you know as well as I do that Whitechapel is the key to these disturbances, to everything. My opinion is immaterial. The Council has spoken. Few dared countermand your father's express wishes. Need I remind you that we all serve at the Lord Chancellor's pleasure? You are the Knight Commander! Make him see reason. 
You think an incursion into a rebel stronghold is reasonable? I consider it an acceptable risk. One for which you'd be willing to accept full responsibility should unforeseen circumstances arise. Let what befalls be upon my head, no one else's. Whitechapel remains off limits. That is officially. You have my thanks, Sir Lucan. Of your thanks, I have no need. Bring me results. As the Knight Commander wishes. Well, we're going in. Most excellent. When do we move? You're not talking about Whitechapel. But my Your brother sought fit to permit us a reconnaissance. Secure the necessary materials. Isabeau, a word. Tell me, monsieur, about the Lord Chancellor. What is Marquis? Sir Lucan and Lady Egraine were adopted by him, yes? Yes, they were. Why would he bring them into such struggle? Perhaps he wanted to regain a semblance of the humanity he lost. When time came to join the Order, the choice was theirs to make. Regardless, I would not wish this life on my children. Marquis, we need to hurry. Oui, mon général, avec plaisir. Monsieur. Friend Mallory has always been something of a rogue operative. I've never known a better man. Still, I shall rely on you to be a, call it a sobering influence. Sebastian and I have long been partners. I trust him with my life. A little restraint would not be ill-advised. Huh. Do look after my sister, won't you? No man in the realm can keep Isabeau from danger when she's of a mind. Oh, you say true. What's a brother to do, eh? Good luck and Godspeed. Always at your service, Sir Galahad. This way, please. Ah, oh, Tesla. Just the man. What new developments do you have to show me? Quite a few intriguing things, if I may say so. Any further news of the uh, trouble in Grosvenor Square? Police are investigating. And investigating. Lycans, on the United India Company's front doorstep, what do you make of it? Mayfair isn't what it used to be. Uh, permit me to oversee a few of my new experiments. Uh, in the meanwhile, take a look around, uh, play with whatever strikes your fancy. But, do be careful. Please, this way. Here is something you may find interesting. This device allows you to convert between Edison's inefficient direct current and my superior alternating current. Quite handy for overloading and incapacitating certain electrical systems. It's comprised of an inverter, transformer, and rectifier outfitted with some brass clips to enhance the design. Oh, and a fine leather carrying case. But inside each tube is a small quantity of mercury. When the mercury is properly aligned, the device becomes operational. Please, try it. Ah. You never cease to amaze, Nicola. I'd appreciate your expert opinion on my latest whimsy. Here. S684 Marksman Carbine. Impressive. You've always had a good eye for craftsmanship. I've outfitted this one. With a telescopic sight, it's ideal for long-range shooting. I would be honored if uh, you would test its efficacy. With pleasure.
your skills never cease to amaze me. Some muffling might be in order as well. I'll attend to it immediately. So, are there any other of my children that you would like to meet? The offer's tempting, but I must return to the others. Of course. Oh, the monocular that General Lafayette requested is over there on the table. I'll see that he gets it. We scour the district in pairs. Isabeau, you and Lafayette take the high street from the south end. Galahad and I will move in from the north. Why not give the Frenchman to Galahad? Mademoiselle doubts my intentions. I promise to remain at all times the picture of chivalry. I'd prefer to have someone more experienced looking out for me. I thought you needed no looking after. Very well. You team with Galahad. Mademoiselle will perhaps one day allow me to demonstrate my skill. One day. Remember, we are entering rebel territory. The insurgents will take umbrage at our incursion into Whitechapel. Given our little discovery in Mayfair, the London Hospital should be our target. Strange to think Lycans would find sanctuary here, is it not, monsieur? You really believe the rebels are collaborating with the half-breeds? The Lord Chancellor is convinced of it. I have my doubts. Do you trust anyone, Mon General? Never accept. Always question. It's a motto that's seen me through the centuries. Stay vigilant, all of you. We can expect hot work here. Ah, quelle joie! A nest of cut purses, collaborators, and whoremongers. I knew it very differently once. Nothing is as it used to be, Sebastian. True. The order, least of all. We rendezvous at the hospital. Stay on your guard. Understood. This way, monsieur. for us poor mortals by sending her precious knights to prowl our streets and violate our homes in the name of law and order. Yeah! Where is the law, I ask you? Uh, uh, no. Wait, uh, wait, Dead and buried! And where there is no law, the people must rise up. Yeah. Rise up and fight yeah. to reclaim their rights. They tell you things have never been better. They tell you be England spotted. is making progress. What's all this progress brought you? Hideous slums, some no more than crannies of obscure misery. Long hours in factories, only to be paid a pittance and told by your masters to be grateful for a few bob a week. Children work to the bone in a black house. She's dead because of you! Didn't care to dirty your aristocratic hands. It's all right. There's no need to be afraid. How could I have known he was a ripper? He was just another bloke. He killed another one last night. I didn't know. Leave her be, monsieur. I didn't, didn't know. Say. Don't worry. You're safe now. Oi! 
There's no weapons allowed in the establishment. You want to stay, you leave it here. Bien sûr, monsieur. As a matter of fact, we were just looking for the coat closet. Give it here. And a fun, governor. At ease, monsieur. A quick reconnaissance of the premises seems imperative. Um, Join me upstairs now. Another time. I'm in no hurry. I can show you things you've never seen before. I don't doubt it. Marky, this is no time for sport. Yes, ma'am. We have to find a way out of here quickly. I have just a thing, monsieur. If one of you ladies would reach into my pocket. Give it here, love. Is it sufficient, monsieur? <laughs> More than sufficient, I'd say. Upstairs, then, if you please. This way, love. He's in there! With his friend! Oi! Get out of there! Oh! Hello? Let's go. Lafayette. Shh. Percival. Percival, do you read me? Save your breath, monsieur. The buildings are blocking the signal. The curse of progress. Am you monocular? I can see our target. The hospital is two miles west. There. It must be them. Shall we join the soirée? Let's invite a few friends, shall we? Air Command, this is Galahad. I need response from anyone in the vicinity of Whitechapel. Air Command, this is Galahad. Thank you, monsieur. Monsieur Copy. We are without sanction here. The Lord Chancellor will be most displeased. Lafayette does not fancy a court-martial. We'll worry about that later. Sir Galahad, this is Sentinel-5. We are three leagues northeast of Whitechapel. Please state directives. Sentinel-5, this is Galahad. We require air support on standby. Acknowledge, Sir Galahad. We are signaling blue-red at a one-second interval. We request your visual confirmation for heading change. Sentinel-5 is waiting for our signal. Sir Galahad, this is Sentinel-5. We have visual confirmation of your position. Heading change to 224 degrees. Assuming holding pattern above Whitechapel in eight minutes. Acknowledge, Sentinel-5. Await further orders at location. Let's go. <sighs> ah, the smell of pestilence. The Parisian slums are more fragrant, I suppose. Merde smells like merde, monsieur. Anywhere in the world. Leave that, Jimmy! Get going! Come on, I'll cover our bases. Yes, sir!
Come on, let's go! Move! Up for a pint, did you? We encountered some resistance. The rebels are better armed than we expected. There's markings. Look familiar. It's one of us. Where'd you find this? Follow me. There's enough firepower here for a small army. Some of this ordnance was manufactured for the order. Igraine even found an art gun in here. I was unaware that we had lost some of our infantry. We haven't. Here, give me a hand with this one. <clears throat> See what's in there. What did you find? Essex M86. Thermite rifle. They saw their first field action a few weeks ago. This one hasn't been assigned yet. How did the rebels get their hands on these? I'm making it my business to find out. Uh, uh, begging your pardon, sir. You need it upstairs. That's our cue. I believe Mademoiselle requires our attention. Igray, we're in position! About time! Move out! Mm -hmm. What took you all so long? <laughs> Knight, engage your weapon! Understood. Weapon, on the first row! Take his arms. <coughs> Gently, monsieur. I have him. <coughs> Ready. Let's move him. <coughs> We're sitting ducks out here. Here comes another. <coughs> monsieur, only a few more feet to go. We're clear. Move in. Okay, go. Well. 
Galahad, find us a way out of here. Working on it. How bad is it? A punctured lung, I think. Another bullet through the stomach. Just rest easy, son. You're going to be all right. I think I've found our way out. Everyone stand back. Igniting! Prayers, Lafayette. There is no God to help him. Come on. Let's go. There. The hospital. We're only a few hundred yards away. And these rebel gobshites will be waiting for us. Mon de Dieu! Who built this fucking town? Dead ends everywhere! Quite the shortcut. Brilliant. What now? Lafayette, monocular. We need to press forward now. There's a weak spot in the tracks. I need more bloody if I can get up there, I should be able to bring the structure down. Igraine, hey, Lafayette, I'll need you to provide cover. Possible with me. is in place. Watch yourselves below. Where's your commanding officer? Over there. Come on. Sergeant. Sir, what are Majesty's knights Why do? haven't you secured the perimeter? We heard things up there. Cypher, stay back. Bugger safety. Do you hear that? Where are the rest of the rebels? Exactly. Dead silent. Something's not right. Galahad, did you? I saw it. Saw so what? Half-breeds. They're converging from the hospital. We need to disperse them. Quickly. Call it in. Sentinel-5, this is Galahad. Do you copy? Sir Galahad, this is Sentinel-5. On standby. Sentinel-5. Requesting an immediate sonar payload drop. Confirming Gorton payload deployment. Requesting visual beacon for target location. Oh, damn it. Who has a transmitter? Here, monsieur. Use my communicator. Well, the lad's useful after all. Well. Locking on beacon. Releasing anchor. Deployment in five, four, three, two. Incoming! All devices 
That's our window. Go! Find out where these bloody things are coming from. I'll cover the rear! Monsieur! You will need this. Be careful, my friends. Always, Marquis. Let's hope these work. What does your fabled instinct tell you now? I'd say we should be prepared for anything. Nothing special in that. Admit it. You're getting rusty. God's blood. What could have happened here? Our bedlamites again, I'd say. No telling how many they might have killed in their escape. Look, there. The exit is on the other side. Let's find another way through. This way. What is it? Who's Percival talking to? No one. Just some old sod off the street. Well, let's move. It's only a matter of time before the Lycans regroup and return. Lycans weren't the only ones to run rampant here. Time has taken its toll on this place. Gray, one of us should search the basement. Agreed. I'll head downstairs. All right, I'll go this way. Get on the comm if you find anything. Ah! Uh. 
Easy. We have a problem. Damn it. It's me, Izzy. I lost you on the car. Where are you? Triage room. I found a mark. An elder. An elder? Here? <clears throat> Let's hurry. The half breed is hurt and out for blood. Oh. Can you open the gate? I'm trying. Find something to pry it open. I'll clear the debris on this side. All right. Izzy! Izzy, stay with me. Come on, Izzy. Come on. Drink.
hurts. Izzy, you'll be fine. I can't do this much longer. Not this life. Save your strength. We deserve better. You and I, together. We deserve better. Hey, you! Oh, that woman again. No. Huh? Gray, the ward. To the left, there's, there's something you need to see. What is it? United India uniforms. No ranks or assignments on the sleeves. That must be it. Percival, come in. Percival! to have me worried. Galahad, where in the world have you been? Percival, we may have a situation on our hands. What is it? First, call in Nicola. We'll need armament. The rebels turn the psychiatric ward into a hideout and what looks like a staging area. There are clues that indicate a potential threat to the United India Company and Lord Hastings. I'm telling you, I'm fine now. You still need some time to recuperate. I assure you, Gray, I'm perfectly well. Will there ever be a time when you will heed my advice, Izzy? You know the answer to that question. But you would have to obtain Father's blessing first. My friend Galahad. Well, Marquis, where have your concerns for my well-being gone? Oh, Mademoiselle, I never doubted for a moment that you would prevail over these miscreants. However, the same cannot be said of your gallant knight. <laughs> Not a word of this to anyone, Nicola, understand? As you wish. You are taking a big risk. What did I tell you, monsieur? We'd almost given you up for lost. I... We were unavoidably detained. Come, we don't have much time. Uh, sir, this is for you as well. It should all be in working order. Thank you, Nicola. And the other weapon? Ah, yes. You never fail to deliver. Percival, for you. Might come in handy. The Agamemnon, what's its status? It has already departed on its way to Portsmouth for its last port of call before it leaves for the Americas. And the security detail on board? Have they been made aware of the rebel threat? For all we know, the guard detail could have been infiltrated by the conspirators. We need to unravel this without arousing suspicion. The Council should at least be apprised of this situation. We don't have the luxury of seeking the Council's permission. We're getting aboard that ship. And how would you suggest we do that, Mon General? It is already airborne. That should be easy. You read my mind. Sentinel-5, we are on board. Acknowledged, Sir Percival. Sentinel-5 is eating back and will remain available for support. Confirmed. Thanks for the drop-off, Captain. Good luck, sir. Sentinel-5, out. Is this your idea of easy, monsieur? We're all secure, Percival. We move on your mark. Very well. Hey, Crane! Lafayette! This 
most precarious, my friend. Giving up so soon, Marquis. In position. Uh. I'll shatter you. Let's go. Get inside! Stow your gear. Lafayette and Galahad, you need to gain control of the cockpit. Quietly. Understood. Isabeau and I will do reconnaissance. We need eyes on the ground amongst the guests. And imagine me with nothing to wear. I suppose I'll have to go dress shopping. Rules of engagement, monsieur? Do what you must. We don't have time to distinguish between rebel conspirators and the company guards. Well, we've worked without a safety net before. That is true. But then again, we are commandeering the flagship of the United India Company's fleet. Questions? Then let's move out. Sebastian, I must ask you. Who is the old man you are talking to on Mayfair and Whitechapel? The old man. It's a long story, one that I will share with you when the time is right. There's still much that I have to find out for myself. I hope you know what you're doing. It seems that the Council grows wary of your defiance. The Order is not what it once was, Grayson. Yes, you've said that much before. <laughs> Patience, old friend, all in due time. Remember, stealth mode. Lucky. Mademoiselle has my absolute assurances. I shall be as silent as the grave. The path looks clear of guards. We should hurry. Wait for my go-ahead. On me. Go! Job for a mechanic, not a guard. Don't know why I even bother. Best built ship, my eye. What up? Galahad, Lafayette. We just encountered resistance from company guards. They are using deadly force. Reciprocate if necessary. Understood. In boys, next mooring is at Portsmouth, and then it's an uneventful few days to the Americas. Smoke grenade. On your mark. Three. Can't even tell we're two. airborne when I'm back in the hold. One. But yeah.
We seize the ship in the name of liberty. Percival, the cockpit is secured. Lafayette will remain at the helm. What is your status? Lord Hastings is in the vicinity of the ballroom, aft of your location. We will try to get eyes on him. Get here fast. Acknowledge. Shall apprise you once I've made reconnaissance. Remember, a steady hand at the tiller at all times. Leave it to me, monsieur. Percival, we have a complication. Lucan is on board. My brother? What is the night commander doing here? Everything seems to be running smoothly. Yes, Lucan, quite smoothly. We shall be in Portsmouth in a few hours. Indeed. Then off to the Americas. Damn it. He was to escort the Lord until the ship reached our borders. Should he be informed of the situation? Risk alerting the rebel agent. Galahad is right. Alistair will not appreciate being kept out of this. Worry about that later. You might yet be welcome support if the situation requires it. We proceed as planned. Understood. I'll let you know when I have a better vantage point. You are to hold fire until we have a confirmed target. Weapons hold confirmed. The rebels are using stolen company uniforms. They'll be dressed as guards. Guards without proper insignias. The uniforms in Whitechapel didn't have shoulder patches. Indeed. Keep me informed. Turn so I can see. confirmed. The guard nearest Hastings checks out. Excellent. Check the remaining guards. No patch. Percival, we have a rebel on the ground floor. Understood. Keep searching. <sighs> Can't see the correct shoulder. There is a rebel on the opposing balcony. Acknowledge. Make sure you check them all. Galahad, have you cleared the rebels? Soon. Lucan! Rebels! Get Hastings out, now! Get him out of here! Ah! Hastings got away. I need backup. Everyone look to plan B! Percival, the mark is down. Rebels incoming. I need support now. Understood. We'll converge on you. What the bloody hell was that? A bomb just detonated on the front engine. Everyone, fall back! I am! You! Everyone, there's a rebel commander on board. It's the woman from Whitechapel. I'm in pursuit. Do not let her get away. Shit. This is an emergency. Repeat, this is an emergency. 
I've lost the mark. I'm maintaining pursuit. Negative. Regroup on the lifeboats. We have a bigger problem. The rebels have a second device on board. Bloody. All right. I'm on my way back. Is this what you would call reasonable? We could not have foreseen these circumstances, Alastair. Your mission to Whitechapel was to remain covert. I have received word of numerous casualties and reports of destruction to the London Hospital. And now this! I intend to stand by my word. I alone will assume responsibility for all the consequences that may befall us. Sebastian! You do understand. There is little I can do to protect you from the wrath of the Lord Chancellor or of the Order. Your father will see reason. Right now, our concern should be finding the other device before it detonates. Oh, good night, your assistance. We, we must all hurry off the ship before things get worse. Sir Lucan will escort you and see to the evacuation. We must resume our pursuit. Oh, surely this is a situation for all hands. You do not intend to stay aboard. We will join you as soon as we can. Izzy, see to these people, then head to the cockpit. No, I'm coming with you. Izzy, you need to find Lafayette and get off this ship. I... Your brother charged me to bring you back safely. Do this for me. We need weapons. There's a guard station nearby. We can avail ourselves of the company's arms. Sending someone to detonate the second explosive. The rebel leader. She and an accomplice escaped to enact a contingency plan. That must be it. Agreed. Let's get back to it. I'll stay here. See if you can get to the weapons hold. Company rats, fleeing their sinking ship. Cowards. Too close. 
for comfort. Leave it be! There must be another way. There's no time! Go on without me, I'll find another way through. And don't lose the mark! Hold your fire! There's no time, Percival! We have to stop him! Trust me, Grayson! Listen to me, lad. Stand down. You have no idea who you're dealing with! We are not the enemy! Then prove it! Stop this madness. No. Not as long as the company is allowed to carry on and obstruct it! They won't. We'll see to it. Sebastian! Friend. You don't have to do this.
do this alone. You two head up to the council. Great. Keeping these aside, I know it is not standard protocol. Grayson. Do not blame yourself for what happened. Let this cloud pass. How can I? He was my mentor. My brother. So he was. But concern yourself with the upcoming solemnities. The rest can wait. Too many questions remain, Alistair. I intend to find answers. Mallory's death will be avenged. Do not fall prey to dark thoughts of retribution. That way madness lies. Come. The Council awaits our presence. Lord Hastings is on his way from the United India House. He wishes to thank you in person for saving his life and the lives of all the other people on the ship. The United India Company owes you a debt of gratitude. <laughs> 